I mean, Montenegro has taken some important steps over the last couple of years in terms of uh, social and child protection policy. So there is a strategy on social and child protection and there is a new law on social and child protection. So it is the aims have been formulated, goals have been formulated within the strategy also which means to improve the livelihoods of the citizens of Montenegro, particularly also of the poor and vulnerable groups. This is a very important objective and there is also a lot of, let's say, fiscal resources which are allocated to these kind of programs. It's therefore very important for the government also to be able to show whether the objectives have been achieved, whether the money allocated has been spent wisely, whether it led to the intended outcomes. That it is why it's so important to monitor and regularly evaluate the policies and particularly the outcomes, the results of the policies. Because at the end of the day, we all know there is always constant pressure on the budgets allocated to social protection. So it's even more important for the government and the Ministry of Social Welfare to show what has been achieved, that the money has been spent wisely and that it indeed improved the situation of poor and vulnerable households. And that can only be done by generating, creating evidence on the outcomes and the results and also use this information in the public debate. So to generate continued political social support for it and make sure that these funds are allocated in a sustainable way over the years to come.